Gab, big story today uh, surrounding Lionel Messi, the fact that his father met with a bar supporter to try and resolve these issues. That's right. His father arriving uh, early on, uh, on Wednesday morning, uh, wasting no time, meeting with, uh, with his other son, Rodrigo, uh, and, with, uh, and with the lawyers, and then uh, later making his way over to meet with Bartomeu, uh, the Barcelona president. The, the report states about between 90, 90 minutes and, and two hours of meetings. Uh, he was quoted as saying afterwards uh, in Argentina, saying, oh, no, no, my son's going. Early indication is that neither side is budging uh, from their positions. Um, Jorge Messi reiterating that Lionel wants to leave Barcelona and he's exercised uh, his clause, so he doesn't expect there to be uh, a transfer fee to be paid. Uh, Barcelona reiterating that he's still under contract until June 30th, 2021. Um, and so the only way he's moving is if the club agree a transfer fee. Um, and, uh, and even, according to reports again in Spain, uh, suggesting that, hey, by the way, while you're here, can we discuss a two-year extension uh, to <laughs> Leo's contract? Now, um, I think that would have been a little bit cheeky. Um, I think what we can take for certain is that this isn't the end of the Jorge v. Bartomeu uh, meetings. Yeah, this is it, Gab, isn't it? There's going to be no quick resolution. We're going to be here this time next month having pretty much the same discussion. Well, look, this is the thing, right? Uh, because there's a third element to this, which is um, you know, there have been other reports suggesting that Manchester City are saying, are kind of backing, uh, if you will, Jorge Messi and saying, look, we don't want to pay, we would never pay a transfer fee because he's a free agent. Why would we? Um, but it is self-destructive. People have talked about, you know, going to the courts and taking legal action and this and that. The reality is if it goes to the courts, you could see a situation where for two or three months, Lionel Messi does not play football until the situation uh, is resolved. Uh, that doesn't help Lionel Messi, uh, even if later he, the courts say that he's right and he is released and he can move. It's not going to help him missing half a season at his age. And equally, if the courts say, no, no, he's got to stay in Barcelona, in some ways that's even worse because that's the ultimate Pyrrhic victory because Barcelona get an unhappy Messi back halfway through the season and he's still going to walk as a free agent in June. Uh -huh. So uh, it's in everybody's interest to reach some sort of resolution here. The question is, what kind of resolution uh, is that going to be? What a mess. Uh, what an absolute mess. I want to move it on because we're going to be talking about this, obviously, a lot over the next couple well, just, of weeks. Yeah, but just one Go second, on, Dan, to touch on the, the... Sorry, I know you want to move on, but we'll be talking about it uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday, uh, Saturday. I know, and Gab's right, uh, there is no quick resolution to this. But one thing I would say is uh, if, it, if it does... If they do try and pursue this uh, freedom of contract, end of contract resolution... Clearly, it will become a huge legal battle. Now, we know anyway that those normally take months and months, if not years. But think about it. There is already a backlog in court cases across the board, uh, particularly in the, the harder-hit countries with the COVID-19. Because a lot of these countries, even the most uh, important parts of the country, were, were having to shut down for certain periods. So everything is at a backlog. And we know already how long legal cases like this can take. You throw in the shutdown from the pandemic and we could be looking at, you know, n maybe not months, but well over a year. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.